Today we've got a story of trials, tribulations, and a well-learned lesson. Sick. Yeah, I found him. The ZV-1 Mark II. Is it a camera for me? Probably not. The camera has a 20.1 megapixel sensor at a one inch size. It has an 18 to 50 millimeter f1.8 to f4 lens. It has high speed autofocus, five times slow motion, and a whole host of really interesting features. A little bit of backstory. So I had this job coming up with Stephen from Vanguard Tactics, and it was a really cool project, and he runs a channel that does tabletop gaming. And I decided to take this with me. Unfortunately, all the footage I actually took on my main camera, I ended up losing. Laptop went kaput. No, God! The job was in two stages. One at Comic-Con, which is where I lost the footage, and then the other at UK Games Expo. But with that, I was just using my FX6 and my 35mm f1.2. And then with this camera, you actually have a really clear-cut screen that allows you to change the direction of the mic and many settings within the camera to be able to make you the process of creating content for you that much easier. So the footage between this camera and what I would get out of something like my A7S III, I mean, it's night and day. This footage is going to be better. It's always going to be better. But with this, what you've got there is a really good quality 4K file that allows you to be used in many situations. When it comes to this camera, it's nice, small, and it's compact. And that, for me, is the main thing that I like about it, is the fact that it's nice, small, and compact. I can fit it in my bag, I can use it as a BTS camera. So yeah, we just did a little bit of filming with Steve there. He's got an incredibly interesting story, and they actually bought one of his first camera recorders for his, uh, where he is now, from Camera Center, which I, I didn't even know, that's amazing. Made by me. This camera is very, very good, but it's built for a purpose. And this is the reason why I brought it with me on my trip. This camera is uniquely suited for people like Steve, who are looking to create content and make the process of creating content as easy as possible for him to be able to do. And I need to get that across in a way that is so relatable to everybody, because I think we're going to share so much. Um, but I am excited for it, very nervous, and yeah, just kind of want it. I want to be there now, I want to be on stage with my slides up there doing this. So anyway, wish me luck. Make sure you check out the full video over on Vanguard Tactics. I love how it came out and like, it's a very interesting story to hear. The other side about it is with these new ZV cameras, like the ZV-E1 that I actually reviewed recently. That camera had an A7S3 sensor inside of it and it was a lot smaller, a lot more compact and I really loved it. When it comes to the ZV series, what they've done is really simplified the process when it comes to shooting with the camera because it's designed for an audience that doesn't want all the complexities it wants something nice small and compact that has really good capabilities that can be reliable in any situation and that's what i would probably say about sony cameras at least my experience of sony cameras is that they have always been incredibly reliable for me to be able to shoot and ultimately makes the process of being a content creator that much better and ultimately, Stephen liked the camera so much, he decided that he now wants to get one for what we were doing. So the camera it may not be designed for me, but that's, that's okay. Because it's a camera that is designed for a reason. And what I got out of this is it's not for me, no. I use the bigger cameras because that's what I like. And yeah. It's also probably a good idea to make sure you back up your data properly before a computer decides to explode. Anyway, this has been Camera Centre UK. Make sure you have a good day. Um, I know Steve through working at Camera Centre and then uh, I ended up doing some work with him as well. And he's an incredibly, incredibly honest and brilliant human being. And what he's managed to achieve out of what he's done is, is incredible. And, you know, being to doing a talk here today like kudos to him.